Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our first lesson on Zoom on math. And the lesson today is on reading graphs in the okay. real world. So I'm going to be okay. sharing my screen right now. Okay. Give me a thumbs up if everybody can see that. Great job. So the quiz is going to be about this water bowl. So this water bowl right here has North Carolina Water Service, which is the company. Okay, I'm going to use a little marker right here. Okay, this right here is usually the telephone number of the company. All right, an emergency water, just in case your water gets cut off, there's an emergency number to call them. So on this bull right here, the name of the person is Quentin, and I blocked out many of these things right here. So, and what I want you guys to all concentrate on at first, how much did this previous bill cost? The previous bill cost the homeowner $47.87. Okay, the payments that the owner made, this is payments received on 6-18-2019 was $70. Okay, and the balance owed is, you see this num this little negative right here? That means that is, it's $117.87 that they have extra on their account. That is a credit. It's not a debit, it's a credit, okay? So the residential service is the water-based charge is $27.53, okay? <clears throat> the, the homeowner used a total of 4,170 gallons of water for 28 days. So number of days is 28. So they calculated the amount of water they used using the meter reading right here. Does somebody read that number for me? Raise your hand. Okay, unmute your mic and read that number. Rishi, go ahead. This number right here. A little blurry on my screen. Is the one four nine six six one zero. Yeah, but read it out as a number, like it's a million, right? I think it's one million four hundred. Read it like that. One million four hundred ninety-six thousand six hundred and ten. Very good. Anyone can read that top number? Okay, go ahead, raise your hand and then unmute your mic and read it, whoever can. I'll do it. Okay, go ahead. Okay, 1,500,780. Okay, cool. All right, big numbers are hard to read, but this is talking about place value, but that's good. So these are the meter readings. And in total, the customer used 4,170 gallons of water from 5-16-2019 to 6-13-2019. Okay, I will increase the size so you can see that better. Does that look better? Thumbs this graph right here, so everybody can see this graph. Mute your mics so everybody can see the graph, okay? Once the lesson is over, then we'll have a discussion, okay? All right, so this is, this is the x-axis right here. So let me get another color, green, okay? So the line that is at the bottom, right there, it's called the x-axis. Well, this right here, the line that's going up and down, or this is the vertical line. So the horizontal line is the x-axis, and then the vertical line, let's pick the color, yellow, okay? The line that's going up and down, this is called the y-axis. So the x-axis and the y-axis has information. On the x-axis is the months, x-axis is the number of gallons of water. And the gallons start from zero, which is this point right here. This point on any graph is called the, where the two lines meet, where the x-axis and y-axis meet is called the point of origin, okay? The point of origin is always written like this. When you see these coordinates anywhere in the world, this is called the point of origin. Everybody understand that? Okay, so the point of origin starts at zero. So the y-axis is the number of gallons, okay? The x-axis right here is the months. The top graph, the x-axis is the number of months, but the y-axis has some different information. This information is called in dollars. This is how much of money it costs for the water, okay? So how much, of, how much does water cost 
per, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller. How much does water cost per thousand gallons? So per thousand gallons, the water costs seven dollars and eight cents. Everybody see that? Mm -hmm. Okay, seven dollars and eight cents. So for every one thousand gallons, you pay seven dollars and eight cents. Okay. So right now, the resident company used four thousand one hundred and seventy gallons, and then seven dollars and eight per one thousand gallons. So the total amount for water cost the homeowner $29.52. Okay, next is how much of tax did the federal government uh, refund the, uh, the homeowner? There's two refunds right here. So one is 46 cents and one is $2.71. What we need to know to find the total of those two is to add these two numbers. The total for the tax, 46 cents plus $2.71. Uh, Three dollars and uh, seventeen cents. Very good. Three dollars and seventeen cents, and we did that by adding these two numbers right here. Going to ask some questions right here. If you know the answer, just unmute your mic and then give us the answer. Okay. So the question is, which month in this graph right here did the uh, did the homeowner pay the most money? Oh, that one. Oh. Yeah. yeah, it's February and November. So I think it's February right here and November. How many gallons did they use in November? And how many gallons did they use in February? 60. All right, 60,000 gallons? Oh, 60, yeah. 60,000 gallons. Is that 6,000? Oh, oh right I meant, six, I said $60. Oh, $60. Yes, we paid about, about $60. Yeah, About 4,000 for each. All right, can you all see that more clearly now? Yeah, so reading this graph can give us a lot of information. So this is the billing history. This is how much he pays for an entire year for, get, for uh, water. So if you take this reading from the graph and take all of these amounts from the graph and add them up, you will know what the total bill per year for water is in your household, right? And so what we did, what this homeowner does, this homeowner pays a set amount every month. And that's why he has an overage, which he has extra money. So the average bill is about $53.88. So this month, the bill came to $53.88. Okay, if I squeeze that up right there, you'll see total residential water service. So the total amount is $53.88. But this amount right here is taking an account that it's negative $63.99. That's the balance that the credit balance that this homeowner has. But what he owes for the month is $53.88. Okay. Let me put that in purple. This is his total bill for the month. Mm -hmm. Okay. Everybody can see that. So this is how you can read a water bill. So take your water bill. All right, find you have an account number, you have a date on the bill, okay? And then use the graphs on the side to calculate how much of water, how much money you need to set aside in your budget for water per month, okay? And then let your parents know that this is what you learned today. Okay. All right, and then also talk about how that you can read the X axis and the Y axis. How can you save water at home? How can you make this bill less? So think about ways in making your water bill, reduce your water bill. And this is how graphs in the real world help us to save money and to live a more, uh, a better life, okay?